Glamorgan in the driving seat in Cardiff. A difficult season for Glamorgan took a positive turn in their final home fixture as they arrived at Stumps on day one with two wickets still intact and a first innings total nearing 350. Leicestershire would need to swing the momentum on day two to avoid setting themselves for an upset. Van der Hoogten was able to make it to his half century during the morning period but didn't have long to celebrate. Still on 50, he was caught by Dearden off Griffiths. Two overs later and the Glamorgan innings was over. Bull feathering a Griffiths ball behind to Hill, the hosts all out for 359. It wasn't an ideal response from Leicestershire as opener Evans scored just one run before being bowled by Hogan. The visitors weren't able to make it to lunch without any further damage. Ackerman out, bowled by Wag and caught behind by Cook. Lunch was then called with Leicestershire sitting at 48 for two, still 311 runs away from Glamorgan's first innings total. In a disappointing season, the hosts have put themselves in a good position to sign off in style. It didn't get any better after lunch for Leicestershire, first Cosgrove edging Wag behind for a cook catch. Then moments later, opener Javid sent a van der Hoogten delivery into the hands of Murphy to leave the visitors 58 for four. With one run added to the total, Leicestershire lost another wicket. Hill out for a golden duck, the common method of dismissal for the day, a wag delivery caught behind by Cook. Taylor was next to go, bowled by Mesheda, having made just five, with the visitors 89 for six. The afternoon showed no signs of improving for Leicestershire, as Mike departed for a duck, caught by Selman off the bowling of Mesheda. Parkinson and Klein were the duo in the middle, but couldn't form a partnership as the former was bowled by Bull, with Lawler on hand for the catch, Leicestershire at 96 for 8. Dearden looked set for a half century, until on 48 he saw himself caught and bowled by Van der Hoogten. An over later, and Griffiths edged a Hogan delivery behind to Cook for a duck. Leicestershire 132 all out, but Glamorgan, with a lead of 227, decided against enforcing the follow-on in the evening. Glamorgan's decision to put themselves back in didn't get off to the best of starts, with opener Cook making just seven before falling to an LBW courtesy of a Taylor delivery. The Glamorgan innings were struggling as opener Selman was trapped LBW by Klein, the hosts 38 for two. Two overs later and Klein captured his second wicket of the innings, Murphy edging behind to Hill. Carlson was next up but couldn't match his heroics of the first innings, out for a duck with Glamorgan 39 for four. The home side were given something of a breather as Lawler and Cook managed to combine effectively and build some runs. The duo were still intact at stumps as Glamorgan closed on 106 for four, a lead of 333 runs with six wickets still in hand, Leicestershire likely to face a titanic run chase.